Hi, my name is Daniel Swain. I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Delaware for uh, the Fine Arts program. Um, going into the Fine Arts program, actually, I had a general idea uh, of what I wanted to do with art, just kind of going into the program. Uh, but going into it, I also wanted to just kind of keep all of that open to see if I would pick up any new like tips, tricks, ideas, uh, or interests kind of just along the way. Um, I came in with a little bit of experience in uh, mediums like acrylic paint, digital art, ceramics, uh, but I was very excited to learn new mediums. Uh, I learned the basics of art and design pretty early on uh, in, in the courses, and I was able to refine and implement them throughout all of my core classes that you know everyone is required to take. I took a liking to drawing, painting, ceramics, and printmaking in particular, and decided to continue exploring those courses uh, as I continued as an undergrad. Starting off, I, I knew the basics of things like color theory, but it became pretty clear uh, as I went that I still had quite a lot of learning and experimentation to do. Um, and so it wasn't until the last year and a half-ish where I began to truly experiment with uh, color materials. Also over the course of my time as an undergrad, my, the subject matter of my work has changed quite a lot. Uh, I began by mostly just drawing fan art of Pokemon or Zelda in like my free time, and then that kind of evolved and influenced uh, my more recent interest in things like prehistoric life reconstructions of you know like dinosaurs and uh, the Paleolithic, uh, as well as uh, like fantasy settings uh, like high fantasy medieval and so on and so forth, uh, with like plant life serving as a sort of common thread. Uh, Professors in particular have encouraged exploring all aspects of my interests and experimenting through them uh, since oftentimes your best work tends to come from when you're working with things that you're interested in, and that's one of the things that I've uh, taken to heart more recently. Uh, my art has certainly evolved in quality and subject over the last several years, uh, but the one thing that I'll always know for certain is that as long as I keep creating, it will continue to do so. And that is what I'm looking forward to going forward from here.